you've already spoiled your 14th pick, but if you want to talk about it a little bit more. I did. I'll, I'll just basically say I think that the Cavs will select him because he's older, he's proven himself, he can kind of lead the team, and they don't need someone to be this young guy that can hit right away, but they want a younger guy. That's why I don't think they'll trade their selection. He's basically the younger version of who they would trade for. So I think they'd keep they they draft him and they'll kind of just keep that core around and give it another year to kind of boom. Because I think the direction the Cavs are moving in with Garland, maybe they resign Sexton, who I hope they do. I know there's been kind of or I guess tension with Garland and Sexton. That's what was kind of rumored, but I don't think you move off of Sexton because he's a solid player. You have Jared Allen, <clears throat> excuse me, you have Evan Mobley. I think it would just be a good core. You Karis Levert there too. I think it'd just be the right selection for the Cleveland Cavaliers to do. Yeah, no, I definitely like the pick. Obviously, he's off my board because I feel like I think the Hornets are going to like steal him right in front of the Cavs because I do think that's a pick that the Cavs would make. So I'm going to go with Tari Eason from LSU. Uh, he It's kind of the same model, right? He's not as old, but he's a little bit older, right? He's going to be, I think he might be 22 when the season starts. He's 21 now. And he slides into like that small forward slash shooting guard kind of role. Uh, he's six. He's you know six six, uh, and they don't have to play Laurie Markkinen at small forward, which I couldn't believe that they were doing with their little uh, three seven footer lineup for a while there. But basically, they've got what they need. They've got somebody who can defend on the perimeter with him. He shot high thirty percent uh, from three this past season in college. He can kind of like secondary play make a little bit, but they don't really need that with Garland and Sexton, especially if they resign him. I think he's just a good like role player. And like you said, that's what they need. They're going for the playoffs this year, obviously, you know, they got the last pick in the lottery and I don't know. I think they've, they've got a good chance to, they kind of fell off at the end of last season, but it looked like they were going to be possibly home, have home court advantage the first round of the playoffs. Yeah. Well, it happens. It happens. Right. But uh, no, I think, I think the Cavs will be a, I think that'd be a great selection. I think it'd be, I think they're an interesting team. I'm really excited to see what happens with the 